Life on our planet is a fragile tapestry we call biodiversity, which is made up of genes, species, and ecosystems. This diversity of organisms is the result of millions of years of evolution, and it is critical for maintaining life on Earth. However, due to human activity, it has become endangered. The fast pace of life resulting from human activities makes it necessary to find a way to protect this biological richness. But it's not enough to concentrate on only one area to be able to preserve the huge treasure trove of diversity on this planet. Many strategically located areas of conservation may be part of a network of special places that help protect the myriad of habitats and species on our planet. These special sites aimed at protecting biodiversity are called protection areas and they are found on every continent and in all the oceans. But less than one-sixth of our planet's land and less than one-tenth of the oceans are dedicated to the conservation of biodiversity. In under a quarter of a century, marine protected area coverage has more than doubled. This shows that both governments and society are ever more aware of the importance of marine protected areas, not only to preserve the health of the ecosystems, but to maintain the well-being and health of humans as well. For example, science has demonstrated that fish populations affected by overfishing make good recoveries in protected areas. Sustainable tourism, including underwater diving and marine mammal viewing, is another economic benefit provided by marine protected areas. In many of the protected areas, the residents benefit from the ocean's resources by using traditional sustainable practices which are part of the world's cultural heritage. But although these marine protected areas are protected spaces, and despite their great importance, they are constantly threatened. Every year, ships transporting thousands of tons of crude oil and toxic and hazardous substances crisscross our planet's oceans. And, all over the planet, international maritime traffic routes pass through or close to many of the marine protected areas. The accidental spillage of the hazardous substances transported by these vessels has a serious impact on marine ecosystems. Oil may hamper the mobility of some of the animals, but its effects can be even more devastating. A spill can also decimate the populations of fish and many other organisms inhabiting both the seas and the coastal areas. It affects the composition and structure of seascapes, and it may even pose a threat to the economy and human health, since it has a direct impact on species of commercial interest. How can we reduce the vulnerability of marine protected areas to the accidental spillage of pollutants? Recent studies on the system of marine protected areas in the United States show that the chances of an accidental spill occurring in areas subject to seasonal protection are 25 times greater than in areas under continuous protection. It was also reported that accidental spills occurred 17 times more often in areas with a broad-based resource management system than in areas with a more restrictive management scheme focused especially on biodiversity conservation. What's more, the number of spills in areas where commercial fishing is allowed is eight times greater than in protected areas, where this activity is either restricted or banned. These analyses have led to suggestions for managers and competent authorities with the aim of reducing the vulnerability of marine protected areas to accidental marine spills. It would be useful to set up protected areas with specific management objectives focused on ecosystem conservation. It is necessary to ensure the continuous protection of marine protected areas. 
it would be helpful to restrict, as far as possible, economic activities within protected areas. Maritime traffic routes must be changed so that vessels will travel as far as possible from the boundaries of protected areas. Where possible, buffer zones in the protected areas should be extended to keep the threat of spills at a good distance from the core zones earmarked for conservation. Many countries have agreed to protect at least 10% of the marine environments by 2020. To reach this goal, it is important to reduce threats, like those posed by accidental marine spills, to marine protected areas, and to conserve these special sites for present and future generations.